Hi, my name's Stephen Eddy and this is Two Minute Tuesday and we are going to be talking about prolactin and progesterone. Now they're two hormones in everybody's body but we're going to focus in on women today because what we're going to learn is that progesterone is antagonistic to prolactin and vice versa. They have this little seesaw relationship. Now let's rewind this for one second. We're gonna be talking about the menstrual cycle. There it is there, very simply. You start off from day zero, you shed um, endometrium for about four or five days, you bleed, and about day 14 you ovulate and you pump out this egg and then this egg makes all this wonderful progesterone and then the egg dies if it's not fertilized and you menstruate, so that's terrific. So but what, happened, what we know in some women is that they have too much prolactin and that can cause all sorts of dysmenorrhea in the body, can cause mental health issues, depression, anger, all these sorts of things. In men it can cause impotence, you know that. So we've got these problems um, but basically it stuffs up your menstrual cycle. Now what we're going to talk about specifically is this new scientific paper which talks about the role of progesterone to regulate prolactin. Now, if a woman gives birth, they've got super duper amounts of prolactin because prolactin is for prolactation. It's for breastfeeding. So you breastfeed and while you're breastfeeding, prolactin is high, progesterone is low. And that's great, except when you stop breastfeeding, progesterone creeps up, you ovulate again, and you can become pregnant again. So it's an interesting interplay between these two critical hormones. And what typically women want is they want to boost their progesterone to get rid of the nasty negative side effects of prolactin, because prolactin, in a way, in your menstrual cycle, isn't healthy. So thank you very much. Oh, 15 seconds. Um, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um.